Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Today's tip is a super quick one on how to use Photoshop to quickly get a layer mask if you're trying to clip something off of a background. Um, so if you have an image like this that's been photographed on white, you might think you should you know, start clicking with your magic wand or doing things like that to isolate objects off the background. Uh, and I just wanted to call attention to a feature that most people generally don't pop over here to look at, but in the channels tab, which by default should be open, but if it's not, just go under window channels. Uh, you can see all the different channels of color in your photo. So red, green, and blue. And generally speaking, there aren't many colors that are ever represented by just one channel alone. Uh, so these work very well to give you sort of baseline plates that you can use for selections. Uh, so if you come over here into the channels tab, you can actually just hold down control and click on the image of any one of these channels to get a quick selection and then just pop back to your layers, convert it to a layer mask. Uh, I'm going to hit control I here to invert it because I want the opposite. And you can see that that's done a pretty good job. But if we look, it still has a lot of variation in it uh, in terms of black and white. Then all you have to do is just click on your layer mask, pop open your levels and really pull in the white point, um, which will make all those gray values go away. And when you do that, it gives you a pretty good layer mask right out of the gate without having to, you know, do much clicking or refining. Uh, and depending on what type of edits you're doing, that might even be enough to sort of get you where you need to be. So then you can just go in and sort of quickly touch up with your brush. Um, I've also found this tip is helpful if you're doing edits or clipping on various colors specifically. Uh, so like if you were trying to clip out just the cactus but not the plant, you might want to actually um, click on your green values uh, instead of the blue or red. Um, and it can just give you a layer mask that's, you know, closer to where you want to be that can very quickly be honed in with levels by either pulling in the black point and the white point together. And you get these more intensified versions of the color channels that lets you sort of subtly manipulate your artwork without having to worry about, you know, getting in there with a brush and painting on just the green areas or doing anything fancy with color range and selection and all that. Um, because since these photos are made out of different pixel colors, obviously Photoshop needs to know what they are ahead of time. And so it's already got them sort of manually separated out here in channels if you want to go in there and use them. So that's the tip. If you found it helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. If you want more of these types of tutorials, feel free to hop on over to my channel and subscribe or hit that little bell thingy to stay notified. As always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, just let me know in the comments. See you next time.